Let's go to East Africa now. Their culture and tradition is quite unique and has been active for generations. We are talking about the Maasai community in Kenya. Every year, several ceremonies attract the eyes of many around the world, which has boosted tourism in the country. This time round, the Maasai has inaugurated a festival that not only highlights their clothing, but their heritage too. Here's a report from the Maasai Mara Game Reserve. It's the most symbolic tradition in the Maasai community in Kenya. Hundreds gather every year here in Sikinani, not only to attract foreigners, but also for ritual thanksgiving to Enkai, the gods. The festival also highlights the importance of unity among the Maasai people. We believe that culture is our own thing that we need to embrace, we need to love it. So uh, Narrow County Peace Association has been preaching peace uh, to all the tribes, but today we say we need to unite the Maasai. We need to bring them together. We need to let them know that they are of great importance and they can unite and do great things for the sake of Kenya. Maasai are historically semi-nomadic pastoralists. They have been facing a number of challenges in recent years. Climate change has led to unpredictable rainfall patterns causing frequent droughts and water scarcity making it difficult to keep their livestock alive. In 2022, local media reported that over 2,500 livestock including goats and cows had perished in Lekipia County due to a long drought. By organizing the festival, they have kept the hope alive that the younger generation will recognize the significance of preserving the culture. We used to get our stories from our fathers, we used to get tales from our grandmothers, and today we are seeing the culture that we have been used to, to be told. And we are so much happy, and we see uh, if this continues and if this event goes well, we will be hosting many and many Maasai cultural days for us and other generations to come to see their cultures and to learn that they can be also Maasai in culture but not in clothing. Hundreds of Maasai warriors with their heads coated in red ochre take part in the final rite of passage to transition from Morans or warriors to elders. There are three interrelated male rites of passage for the Maasai community. The induction of the boys leading to initiation, the shaving of the Morans paving the way for adulthood and the meat-eating ceremony that marks the end of Moranism and the beginning of eldership. I have to learn and then I, because I want to tell other people coming, yeah, because it's not a written thing, it's something that we learn and I want to be there so that they can see and uh, make sure that the other people, other new generation coming, I will make them to know and train them so that I will not forget about this community because it is very important having our culture. The rites of passage are mainly practiced by young men of the Maasai community aged between 15 and 30. In 2018, UNESCO included the Maasai rites in the list of intangible cultural heritage in need of urgent safeguarding. Bureau report, Vion, World is One.